this video we're going to be talking about skipping mangrove shorelines for snook now when i'm looking for you know a shoreline to fish for snook there are two things i'm really considering you know you want to have a shoreline where the water pushes up to but it really doesn't go too far back because it's going to be almost impossible to get those fish out if you do hook into them because you're going to want to skip your lures pretty close to all that structure the second thing is a shoreline with shade with uh, structure and cover because that's what those snook want they're ambush predators so they want somewhere to hide now when i'm looking for a spot to cast you know i'm looking for these openings in the structure because one that's going to give me an easier place to cast and two it's going to make it a little easier to get a fish out if you do happen to hook into them so when i skip my lures into the mangroves or any type of structure that is uh, up on the shoreline what I like to do is stay out about you know 20 yards or so you don't want to be too far away because your cast will be very inaccurate and you don't want to be too close because you'll spook whatever's up there and if at all possible you want to be directly straight out from where you're casting if i was on the shoreline casting parallel if i hook into a fish it's going to go right into the structure so you want to make your cast pretty much straight out in front of where you're at so that if you do hook into a fish you can use your trolling motor or if you have pedals on your kayak you can start backing out away from that structure to get that fish out now the lure that i'm throwing here it's a three and a half inch paddle tail this is our slam shady paddle tail there it's white silver and gold flakes in it using 30 pound fluorocarbon leader 30 pound is about the minimum you want to use when fishing structure close to the shoreline especially for snook so you don't get broken off but only using about 10 pound braid here uh, i would really recommend 20 or so especially if you're getting into some bigger fish because again braid not very abrasion resistant and when you're fishing these trees if a fish takes you in the braid is usually what gets cut on the barnacles and the sharp edges of the trees now when you're skipping structure up on shorelines for a snook you'll most likely come across some other species you know redfish trout uh, even flounder especially in the summertime they may be pushed up close to these shorelines with structure so you really never know what you'll come across when you're fishing these shorelines. And when retrieving your lure, there's really no you know, set retrieve that's gonna work better than others. Depends on how active the fish are. Typically when I make a cast, and as soon as it hits the water and it starts sinking, that's usually when it gets hit. If not, maybe a few bounces after the lure lands. And once you clear the tree, I usually bring it back in pretty quickly and then cast again. So I'll give you an example here. I'll skip right under here. A couple bounces, nothing, and I'll bring it in. That way you can cover more areas. Now when you are skipping these mangroves, don't be afraid to cast to the same spot more than once. As you can see here, made a cast to the same exact spot. The second cast was on the money and right on top of that fish. Nice snook. Those trees are nice. No, 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 don't go over there. Get out there. Get out there. Nice Get away from those trees. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Get out of those trees. Come on. 
get away from there. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong and where the light